testing is a critical phase in the software development process to ensure that the code being deployed to production is of high quality. MUnit plays a pivotal role in testing your Mule applications and generating test cases for your flows and subflows. Hello, my name is Lakshmi Narayan, and I'm a customer success technical consultant at MuleSoft. And today, I'm going to be talking about how at MuleSoft, we are continuously innovating to boost developer productivity. And especially, I'm going to be talking about the MUnit test recorder. It is a new feature built into AnyPoint Studio 7.5 to automatically generate your test cases and make test cases easier to read, write, and understand. The test recorder enables you to record a processing flow and then configure a unit test based on the captured event. It captures real data as it flows through your Mule application and automatically generates an MUnit test so that you can configure the necessary mocks and assertions needed for your test. Let's look at an example as to how the test recorder can be used to automatically create unit test cases for your Mule application. We have a sample Mule application that has a HTTP listener as the source. It receives an account ID as the URI parameter and calls two private flows. The first flow connects to a database to retrieve details specific for that account ID. The second flow does some transformation and on the payload and then connects to Salesforce to create a, an account object with the details retrieved from the database. So let us go ahead and generate a unit test case for the main flow uh, using the MUnit test recorder. So right click on the flow and you will notice that you have another option, record test for this flow. So once you click on the record test for this flow, AnyPoint Studio will launch the embedded view runtime and to start the recording session. So you will get a pop-up like this, which indicates that the recorder is waiting to capture the live event that it will use to configure the unit test cases as it flows through your application. So the next step, let us go ahead and invoke the application. Notice I'm passing the account ID as the URI parameter. So you can see that the recorder has captured the event and is recording the session as the data flows through the application. So once it is complete, we can go ahead and click on the configure test to start with the configuration. So you have the test suite name and the test unit test name for the specific flow that we are trying to configure. So click on next. Here you can see that all the message processors are listed. We have the options to select the flow input and the flow output. And uh, you remember, I had select, I had sent only the URI parameters. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck the payload. We can also set up mocks, spies for a message processes. Let us go ahead and configure a mock. So I would, uh, I'm going to mock the flow that connects to Salesforce. So you can see that the mocked payload is already configured. I'll also configure a spy on the transform message component to ensure to spy on the payload uh, before and after the transformation. And one more thing I will do is verify and confirm that the second flow that connects to the database was executed only once. So now that we have com completed our configurations, let us go and click next. And you can see a summary of all the configurations that will be well, in the unit test case once it's generated. So click on finish. There you go. So test recorder has automatically generated the test case with the configurations that we have specified. So let's look at it one by one. First, you can see the event input for the flow and you can see how it reads the attribute from a data wave file. So notice that the data wave files for this specific test case are already generated and the data wave file that is being referenced here holds the, uh, the URI parameter that we require. Look at the mock that was configured for the Salesforce call. You can see that the mock is also reading the payload from the data view file, which is already generated and has the details of the payload that has to be mocked. The spy processor for the transformation event has been generated and the data view assertions to assert the value of the new event are also generated in these files. 
Similarly, a verify call to validate that the database flow is called only once was also generated automatically. So let us go and run, run this test case. The test case was successfully executed and the coverage report has also been generated. We had mocked this flow and that's why you see the coverage is not is around 70 percent to increase the code coverage please ensure that every individual component in your flow is tested as part of your test case in our example we can increase the coverage by removing the mock of the entire private flow that creates the record in salesforce and instead mock only the final call to salesforce you also have the option to configure your test to fail or throw a warning if a certain coverage level is not met this is how simple it is to automatically generate unit test cases using the MUNIT test recorder for your Mule applications. For further reading, please refer to the MuleSoft documentation website. Thank you for watching the video. I hope this helped to understand how the MUNIT test recorder can be used to automate the test creation process and simplify the testing experience for developers. Thanks for watching.